That's Freedman Adventures family member Marcos Garcia. What a trip they had on board the Freedom out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. Limits of sheep's head. You can see copious amounts of these toothy critters on the deck of the Freedom. They also had some calico bass to go along with it. But it was the sheep's head that dominated this great overnight trip on board the Freedom. Great fishing. Marco's so happy you got a chance to experience it. And once again, a tremendous overnight trip on the Freedom. It's almost Christmas, but that is not slowing the pride down. Out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, USA, 55 halibut on their most recent trip. They just keep doing it as we edge towards Christmas. They also had lots of bass and some rockfish to go along with it. Tremendous halibut bite on board the pride. 55 halibut, 22nd Street Landing, San Pedro, California. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. Here in Southern California, we are sandwiched between Seal Beach and Huntington Beach, and it's a glorious morning here this beautiful Saturday, December the 16th, as we bear down on Christmas. You can feel the holiday spirit, whether you're here in the United States or down in sunny Baja, California. It is absolutely such a special time of the year. It's this time of giving of looking after others. And man, I'll tell you, I love the Christmas season. Well, I'll tell you what, this year in Southern California, fishing has not slowed down. Man, did you see that lead in? 55 halibut on board the Pride out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. Some really great halibut fishing. And I'll tell you, this has got to go down. 23, 2023 is one of the best halibut years I've ever seen in all my years on the planet here in SoCal. It's really been magnificent from the springtime bite to this late fall bite. It's been spectacular. And private boaters have been getting in on it also. It's really been a fabulous year. We continue to see good long range fishing going on with that variety that you see in the late fall down out of San Diego, eight to 10 day trips, 11 day trips, head down the Baja coast and they encounter Wahoo, Yellowtail, Yellowfin Tuna, Dorado, Grouper, and so much more. I mean, it really is fabulous. And here in Surfside this morning, it's crazy. I mean, there's tractors uh, as they are replenishing the sand here on the beach, working the beaches. There's more and more sand being pumped out. There's a huge amount of bird life offshore from here. Of course, right here in front of us, these birds are foraging around looking for something to eat. And just offshore, well, yesterday we had some more gray whales pass by as they are making their migration from the Bering Sea down to the warm water lagoons of Baja, California. Wow, I'll tell you, how about some great sand bass fishing, some great rock fishing? You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Pretty good. I know most of the time I go crazy over my coffee, but it's pretty cold here this morning because... It's kind of cold here down on the beach, but it's gorgeous. It is so beautiful. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it. When you do that, share these videos with a friend. You can tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. And, of course, subscribe to the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. We deeply appreciate all of your support. I mean that sincerely. You can also follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Apple Podcasts, and, of course, on Spotify. Hey, a uh, lot to talk about, but first of all, some really tragic news that I've got to talk to you about real quickly here. Mike is the galley cook on board the Pride. We just mentioned them with that great halibut fishing. He just lost his wife in a motorcycle accident and could use your thoughts and prayers, could use your love, could use your financial support if you are able to make a donation. You can go to the Friedman Adventures Facebook page, and there you will see a way that you can donate. 
to help Mike through what has got to be just the most difficult time of his life. So our thoughts and prayers go out to Mike, his family, our words can't assuage his grief. I understand that. But if you're able to help, please do. And if you're not on Facebook and you want me to send you the information, I'm more than happy to do that. Just send me a text 657-227-6459 and I will get you that information. Keep Mike and his family in your thoughts and prayers. All right, everybody, time to get into it. Let's go south of the border down to Cabo San Lucas, where there has been some spectacular striped marlin fishing, good marlin fishing down there right now, beautiful weather. There's also occasional blue marlin, you know, the whole thing. There's pretty good yellowfin tuna fishing, and also some pretty big dorado. Not a lot of them, but there's been some dorado, and there's been the occasional wahoo. San Quentin would continue to see some bigger bonita down in that neck of the woods along with occasional good yellowtail bite and lots, I shouldn't say lots, I should say copious amounts of rockfish down in that neck of the woods. Also, as we move you up to the Ensenada area, only 70 miles south of the border, and they are experiencing great rock fishing. They've got tremendous fishing on those bigger bonita. That's been a lot of fun. You see those things everywhere now by Todos Santos Island. If you go down to Santo Tomas, you'll roll up on bird schools of bonita. You can get them on troll feathers, throw on iron in those bird schools. If you have bait, they'll bite the bait. Really a fun fish. And I'm telling you, bonita are really good to eat. Whether you cook them up or you sashimi them, they're really good. Just have to take care of them. That means bleeding them and getting them on ice. ASAP. Long range fishing has been tremendous. As we have been telling you, Tommy Miles is a crew member on board the Royal Polaris and he's showing off some nice fish down there in that neck of the woods. Some yellowfin tuna, some wahoo, and beautiful weather on the RP as they are having a great trip, as are all the long range boats right now. I mean, you can pick a boat and name it, and they've been doing really, really great stuff. We have an eight-day trip on the Independence next November that is sold out. Our five-day trip in April is booking up. That is going to be April 4th through the 9th. Get on that trip. You can see the phone number for Independent Sport Fishing down below. It's going to be a good one. These bluefin are not going anywhere. They are still around. In fact, the Polaris Supreme on their last trip, two-day trip, with 24 guys, I think it was 56 bluefin, 54 bluefin, something like that. Back on them again, and that fish is not going anywhere at all. One problem that we have during this time of the year is coverage. Not enough boats out there to find the darn things. So with one boat bobbing around that big eastern Pacific, sometimes it's a little difficult to find those BFT. But they're still here. There's so much squid around that that is holding these bluefin to, I believe, here in our local waters, and in past years, they haven't gone anywhere. Now, as we move toward Christmas, I'm not sure we're going to have anybody else out looking for bluefin tuna, but we'll watch it for you very, very closely and see if anybody indeed comes up with a BFT or two. There's been good nighttime fishing, and of course, you're fishing three to 500 gram jigs for the most part, 130 to 100 pound spectra, 200 pound leader material, and you are ready to rock and roll. But as they say, we're getting so close to Christmas now, a lot of guys are saying, all right, let's focus on family, loved ones, and Christmas. So we'll see if anybody else gets out here in the near future. We mentioned the Pride with another huge trip, 55 halibut, and then they have a mix of other species that get involved in that. Also rockfish and, you know, even leopard sharks when they're in that short water fishing for those flat fish it's really been tremendous pride doing it on a regular basis the freedom out of 22nd street landing ran uh overnight trip had great fishing for sheep's head and whitefish everybody's sacks were really full jeff jessup ran that trip jeff merry christmas to you and man i'll tell you i can't wait we have some great trips coming up on board the apollo in 24 jeff jessup's a big part of that rig a big part of the freedom, a big part of 22nd Street Land, and he's been a big part of my life. I mean, he was my kid's babysitter many years ago. I dropped mom down there on the Spitfire and say, have fun, kids. Jeff, take care of those schmucks for me. And Jeff would do a great job. And I believe that he had a big part, played a big part in creating that burning desire to fish that Philip and Patrick both have right now. 
uh, great rock fishing up and down our coast. That's continuing. You can start in Ensenada, where we mentioned, and bring it all the way up to Monterey, California. The Mirage Limits up there in Santa Barbara. Great fishing. Here are the local boats. City of Long Beach, Monte Carlo, several other guys have had some really spectacular deep water cod fishing. And if you want to bring it into the shallows and catch sheep's head and whitefish, that's been pretty darn good also. The Endeavor out of beautiful Ventura. Sword fishing is booking up charters for next year. Man, I'll tell you, customer service way up here doesn't get any better. We had a great couple of trips out of Ventura sport fishing this past year. One on the island spirit when my brother Paul flew in from Taiwan and we jumped out with Cody uh, Rogers on the island spirit. We had a ball catching barracuda and having so much fun. And then the other one was on board the Endeavor where we caught copious amounts of colorful bottom dwellers and had just a fabulous time. 805 676 Three, four, seven, four. On board the Aloha Spirit, Marcus Vane, with some really great fishing. Hey, good morning, guys. Do me a favor. Catch some fish today. All right, cool. Good luck. All right, hey, let's show you these guys. Hey, guys, say good morning to the morning briefing. All right, hey, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, I'm wishing those guys the best of luck. I hope they come up with some flatties today. All right, back to Marcus Fane on board the Aloha Spirit. Great trip. He had a nice flat fish, as you can see there, and also some really excellent fishing on whitefish and sheepset and that rasmataz, as Father Ignatius used to say at Bishop Montgomery High School in Torrance, California. So really good bottom fishing up and down our coast right now. That has been excellent, and hopefully that is going to continue. A guy by the name of Thomas Aranda down in San Diego, three days, he had 80 halibut, not all legals, of course, but just as good as it gets. Once again, emphasizing what a huge year 2023 was on halibut. And as we project and look forward, and I make one of my predictions that are always right, as you well know, just look at my record on albacore for the past three years. Well, don't look at that. But anyway, with all this squid around, with the sign that we're getting here late fall, on halibut and SoCal. You better watch out for some huge fishing coming up this next year. 24 should be a great season. That squid is going to make it so. New Del Mar last night, John Flood and Earl the Pearl McVicker out catching nice sandies at night. Twilight fishing's been really good. Wintertime, or I should say late fall, almost wintertime, fishing here in SoCal's excellent lead head and squid. And as heavy a line as those little devils will let you get away with. 25 to 40 pound fluorocarbon works really, really well. Because remember, you're fishing structure. You're fishing what Nick Curcione, famous outdoor writer from years gone by. My sociology professor at Loyola Marymount University. Expert fly fisherman. Nick, good morning to you. Nick used to say, you're fishing bad neighborhoods. Nasty rocks and you know shipwrecks and all kinds of stuff. And those fish come out of their hole, they'll bite your bait and go right back in there. That's why you need as heavy a line, A, as you can get. And B, when you get a bite, you better start pulling in a hurry. So some really nice fishing for those guys. Also good to see that. In the surf, those guys, man, I hope they end up with some flatties today. They're out there fishing the flatfish. And there's been halibut up and down our coast, lucky crab lures or a small crocodile. That works really, really well, like a three-quarter ounce crocodile or, you know, a little cast master. You want to fish bait. If there's any way for you to snag some live bait and fish live stuff, that's great. And drop shotting is a great way to take flat fish as those guys are nearing the spot down there right now. I've got a good feeling for those two guys. Also, some good barred perch fishing here in the surf. We continue to see some of that going on. That's been excellent down there around Huntington, Richard Cayo. On a regular basis, conking the barred perch. And uh, once again, when the water cools down, those barred perch like to bite. Or I should say, they move in because they like the cooler water. Northern Baja, some really tremendous fishing going on there. Kerry Gay uh, Gayagas. Kerry out there at Santa Ana River Lakes. Check out that 8.53 pound rainbow trout. That's a nice one, Kerry. Good job, my friend. I'll have to come over there and fish with you one of these days really, really soon. And of course, some of the local lakes, you know, like uh, Kenny Hond Lake, that's been a really good one, according to Andrew 
over at uh, Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California. Andrew says that has really been an excellent lake to fish. He's had great success there. So if you want to take the kids out and do your thing with them, that is a good way to do it. I'll be at 22nd Street Landing on Sunday from about 12 noon till about 5. I'm going down there. I want to see Israel de la Cruz. Israel, good morning. You told me you're going to be there jumping on board the Pride. So I'll be there just to say hello to you. I'm also going to be down there accepting a wheelchair from another gentleman who's contributing a wheelchair to our Mexico efforts. And we have a lot of organization. Our whole 22nd Street Landing office is plugged with clothing and medical supplies and so much more that's all going to go to Mexico. So we got to get that little organized, ship it down to our warehouse in La Mirada, California, and then get ready to ship to Mexico. Lindo, and with all of your help, we really deeply appreciate that. We have a GoFundMe page, and I would deeply appreciate it if you could contribute anything at all. There's a link in the show description today that you can check out. Uh-oh, what's going on here? I'm going to get wet. Let's feel that water. Man, it feels warm because the air temp is so cool out here. All right. Hey, what can I tell you? Guys are going surfing. There's birds everywhere. These tractors are doing the sand replenishment thing. It really has been a great morning already, this beautiful Saturday morning. Wishing you all my very best. Sending you all my very best. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.